Welcome to my lecture online. Here we have the second example of how to deal with the Euler equation. If the coefficients, not being constant, are in the form of t squared, t and t to the zero power, then we know it to be the Euler equation. And we know that the general solution will have this format, y equals t to the r power. We then have to find the value of r for this particular equation. So before we get started, we want to write this in the standard format. So we want to rewrite this as, when we divide everything by t squared, we end up at y double prime minus 3, t divided by t squared is 3 over t y prime plus 4 over t squared y equals 0. And then we realize that if this is the format of the solution, the first derivative will look like this, the second derivative will look like this, and we can plug those back into this equation right here, and then solve for r. So to do that, y double prime becomes that. So we end up with r times r minus 1 times t to the r minus 2 power. And then here we have minus 3 over t y prime, which is equal to r times t to the r minus 1 plus 4 over t squared times y, which is t to the r power. And then, to simplify things a little bit, we want to multiply everything by t squared to get rid of the denominators here. So when we do that, we get r times r minus 1 times t to the r power, because we multiply times t squared, so the minus 2 disappears. Here, minus, well, one of the t's cancels out with this t, the other one cancels out with that, so we have minus 3 times r to the t power, or rt to the r power, and then here we're going to end up with plus 4t to the r power equals 0. And now what we're going to do is we're going to factor out a t to the r. When we do that, we get the following. We get t to the r times, so here we have an r squared, r times a negative 1. Here we have a minus 3r, and here we have a plus 4. And that equals 0. So we have t to the r times this equals 0. Now t to the r cannot be 0, because if it is, we don't have a solution. And so therefore, we know that this must equal 0. So simplifying this, we get r squared minus 4r plus 4 equals 0. Now we can go ahead and factor this. So we have an r minus 2 quantity squared equal 0. And so what happens here is that the only solution we have is that r is equal to 2. And of course, that's a double root because r equals 2 twice because we multiply by itself. So if we have a singular double root or a repeated root as we call it, then we know that the general solution will be y is equal to some constant times t to the r power, r being the double root here, plus c2 t to the r power times the natural log of t. So all we have to do now is substitute r equal to 2 in our general equation, and we know that the solution then to this problem right here is equal to c1 t to the second power plus c2 t to the second power times the natural log times t. And that would be the general solution to our original differential equation here. Again, recognize it as the Euler equation. Notice that the coefficients not being constant are in the form of t squared, t, and t to the zero power. Of course, it doesn't have to be a t. It could be an x or any other variable. Typically, we use it x's or t's. t stands for time, x stands for distance, depending upon the type of problem we're dealing with. But if we have a double root like this, then this will be the general solution to that equation, and that's how it's done.